The average salary of a UX designer in India is 9 lakh per annum, which comes down to 75,000 rupees per month. Nope, I'm not making this up. This is based on over 5,000 salaries recorded on Ambition Box. You are also a designer, but are you getting paid that much for your job? Freelance UX designers on Upwork charge on an average of 25 to 39 dollars per hour. Let's play on the safer side and say that you just charge 10 dollars per hour, much less than the average rates. With 10 dollars per hour, you work 5 hours a day and 25 days a month. Okay, let's make it 22 days, taking out all those 8 days of your weekends. Now you are working $10 for 5 hours a day and 22 days a month which equals to $1100. The current exchange rate for $1 is rupees 83. So when you convert this $1100 into rupees, that is around 90,000 rupees. But again, the question is, are you earning that much from freelancing? Look, I don't mean to disrespect you in any sense by showing you these numbers. I just wanted to tell you the potential UX designers have at the moment. And it's all real. I'm not making these numbers out. You can go to the internet and search by yourself. And if you're convinced, answer me. What's stopping you from getting that much of salary, from earning those $1,100? Probably you wouldn't know the answer. But what you could do is to watch this video till the very end. Because in today's video, I'll be sharing five ways through which you can double your income as a UX designer in India. And let me tell you, they're all practical and every one of you can implement them and see the results. But before we discuss those five ways, let's for a moment talk about the reasons why some designers get big bucks, while others only desire it. Well, if you see it clearly, it's not about designers earning more money versus designers who don't. It's actually about highly skilled versus not so highly skilled designers. Because if you are delivering good designs, designs that are satisfying your clients and solving their business problems, eventually they will pay you more. But if you're delivering what is mediocre, then my friend, there's no way they're going to pay you that much of money. So if you are a designer who is not satisfied with your income, then please work on your craft and be a highly skilled designer. If you are someone who lacks in-depth knowledge of UX principles, then go and learn the fundamentals. If you design based on personal preferences or assumptions, then learn to put the user at the center of the design process. And if you don't even have a well-defined design process, then build one that includes user study, wireframing, prototyping and testing. It's the value that your client or recruiters pay you for and for that you need to be really good in your game. To help you with this, I've created this video around the UX design roadmap which can help you in understanding this process in a better way and how you can deliver what is needed in the market. I'll link the video down in the description. Alright, once you get skilled and start feeling like your learnings and experience can help others, you can start consulting them. That's the first way to boost your income. Look, as you gain expertise in your design, your niche, you can provide valuable insights and guidance to clients and designers who are just starting out. But before that, you need to ask some questions to yourself. What areas of UX design are you most knowledgeable and experienced in? What are your strengths and weaknesses? Once you have a good understanding of your niche, you can start to market yourself to other people who need help in those areas. You can be a mentor to designers in person, online or through a formal mentoring program and charge a fee for your service. Consulting can be a lucrative addition to your income and it also gives you the opportunity to grow and success of other businesses and fellow designers. You can also help them by creating and selling digital assets like UI kits, icon sets, templates or design resources on platforms like Gumroad, Envato or Creative Market. These products serve other designers or individuals seeking ready-made design elements and can provide you a steady income stream. The second way to increase your income is by creating content. Be it creating video for YouTube, reels for Instagram or writing posts on LinkedIn, the global digital content creation market was valued at $25.6 billion in 2022 and it is estimated to expand at a compound annual growth of 13.5% from 2023 to 2030. We all know that in today's digital age, creating content is essential for attracting clients and opportunities because indirectly, you are establishing a strong online presence. And more than that, you can monetize your content as well. Let's say you start creating videos on YouTube and once you're eligible for the AdSense program, you can place your ads on videos and start earning money there. That's one way. Another way is doing affiliate marketing. Whatever tools you use, books you read, 
add their affiliate links in the description. If someone purchases through that link, you get a small commission out of it. You can also get sponsored by brands where they pay you to spread awareness about their product or the brand itself. And it's not just limited to YouTube. You can do on Instagram, LinkedIn, whichever platform you like to work with. These are just a few of the many platforms that designers can use to make money online. With so many different platforms to choose from, there's sure to be a platform that is right for you and your business needs. But remember, it is important to know that it takes time and effort to build an online presence and to start making money online. Don't get discouraged if you don't see the results immediately. Just keep creating high quality content and keep promoting your work and eventually, you will start getting the results. The third way to boost your income as a UX designer is to raise your rates. Now, this may seem like a no brainer, but it's something that many designers are afraid to do. However, if you are not charging what you're worth, you are leaving money on the table. But this isn't just about picking a higher number. It involves a comprehensive approach. Start by researching the market prices for your specific type of design work. Understand the range of rates that clients are willing to pay in your niche. For this, you can check out freelancing platforms like Upwork and Fiverr. Just go there and search UX designer you'll get to see what other designers are charging and what work they're doing. You can also reach out to other designers in your network and ask them about their design rates. Once you have a good understanding of market prices, you can start to raise your own rates. It is important to do this gradually so that you don't shock your existing clients. Either ways, you should definitely raise your rates by at least 7% every year because that's the rate of inflation. If you don't raise at least this much, then you are technically reducing your rates with every passing year. Once you raise your rates, you can also offer discounts to new clients or clients who book multiple projects. Additionally, you can also upsell to your existing clients. For example, if you're a web designer, you could upsell your clients on additional design services like creating custom icons or illustrations or designing their marketing materials. To upsell to existing clients, you need to build good relationship with them and understand their needs. Once you know what they need, you can start to offer them solutions that will help them achieve their goals. Another great way to increase your design income is by outsourcing your work. Outsourcing means hiring someone else to do some of the tasks that you're currently doing yourself. Of course, this may not be an option if you work for a company, but if you're a freelancer, it's highly, highly possible. Wait a minute, we are talking about starting out, learning new skills and all, and suddenly I'm asking you to hire people? What the hell? Well, the reality is the sooner you learn to outsource, the sooner you'll be able to scale. Let me explain. No matter what, you will always find someone who will be ready to do your job at a rate cheaper than what you charge. Sure, the quality of the output may be around 80% of yours, but imagine you get 80% of the work done by someone else at a cheaper rate, and then you spend a little more time to elevate it all the way to 90% or 100%. This can be a great way to free up your time so that you can focus on more high value tasks such as client acquisition or maybe an additional project. Remember, it's important to choose the right freelancers and manage them effectively in order to get the best results. Here are a few tips for hiring freelance designers. Start by creating a list of your requirements. You should know what skills and experience you're looking for. What is your budget? What are your deadline constraints? Secondly, hire freelancers on a contract basis. This will give you the flexibility to work with different freelancers on different projects depending on your needs. Now for your personal tasks, you can look for a virtual assistant. They will handle your scheduling, email management, client communication and various other administrative tasks freeing up your time to focus on design work. This boost in productivity allows you to take more clients, more projects, and subsequently increase your income. Lastly, let's talk about how you can leverage AI to boost your design income. AI can help you automate repetitive and time-consuming tasks such as generating initial design concepts. By using AI, you can significantly increase your efficiency and productivity. This means taking on more projects without compromising on quality. Imagine uh, you are an illustrator and you can complete one client project in around 15 days. Now with the adoption of AI, your aim should be to complete not one, but two to three projects in the same time frame of 15 days. How will you do that? Because with AI, you should be able to save a lot of time by automating the first few concepts, which ideally takes the most amount of time. It's clear that designers who are skilled in using AI will be in high demand in their near future. But where to start? Well, it's easy. There are so many AI tools in the market that you can use in your day-to-day -day design work. Starting with a popular one, ChatGPT. Trust me, in today's world, if you're not effectively using 
chat GPT, you're already lagging behind. Make it a habit to keep chat GPT open in one of your browser tabs all the time. You can use it in numerous ways. Chat GPT can be used to generate user persona based on your own knowledge or experience or research that you have conducted. This can save you a lot of time and help you create more realistic and detailed user personas or reports. And above all, it can write some of the best replies to your emails and other communication. You find it hard to negotiate your rates over email? Make ChatGPT write it. You want to disagree with your client, but you don't want to offend them? Again, make ChatGPT write those replies. These complex communications can be handled very well by ChatGPT. Another popular tool is Midjourney. It's a text-to-image AI system that can create realistic and artistic image from prompts. You can use Midjourney to generate concept art for your designs, which can help you visualize your ideas. It can also be used to generate background and rough designs to inspire your work. It can save you a lot of time and help you create unique, and visually appealing designs. Additionally, there are dozens of Figma plugins available which can help you in your design work. One of them is Wireframe Designer, where you input the description and the plugin generates wireframes instantly. Of course, it's not perfect, but it's still a good start. There's another plugin called Magician, which can transform ordinary text into captivating images. That's good too. Majestic and FigGPT are also in the list. I've talked about them in a short, you can check that out. I'll link it down in the description. Overall, AI is a powerful tool that can help designers to make more money by automating tasks, improving the quality of work, and opening up new opportunities. AI can help designers like us to become more productive and efficient. Using AI is a smart way to boost your income while maintaining your creative standards. So folks, there you have it. Five ways which can help you double your income as a UX designer. Let me summarize them for you. First is to get skilled and start consulting other designers. Second is content creation and building an online presence. Third is to raise your rates. Fourth is to outsource your work. And the last method is leveraging AI. Start working on them one by one and you will see by yourself how that is impacting your design income. So that was all from my side. All the resources I mentioned in this video will be in the descriptions. Go check them out. This video was focused on strategies to double your income. But if you are someone who hasn't even started earning money yet, then you can watch this video where I talked about how can you make your first 50,000 rupees from UX design in the next 60 days. But if you're looking for a complete roadmap to get highly skilled in UX design, then you can check out this video. Until next time, this is Sapta signing off.